Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica and in today's video I am going to be cleaning my whole house. I hope this video brings you a ton of cleaning motivation. I hope this video gets you up and moving and let's just go ahead and get right into it. So today I will be starting upstairs in the master bedroom and I will be changing out my sheets today and I just recently did a bedroom makeover video. If you have not watched that, I will go ahead and leave a card up here in the corner of the screen. I love the way my bedroom looks now. I never imagined that I would use a dark color in here, but I am loving it and I think it's going to look perfectly when I start adding some fall decor. Okay, so I know fall is still quite a ways away, but in my mind, I am totally thinking all things fall, and I am kind of wondering how I want to decorate this year. I don't know if I want to go more with the traditional colors, with like the oranges and um, the darker colors, or if I want to stay more on the neutral side. I actually love them both equally. I feel like the neutral colors are definitely more calming, but the traditional colors just say fall and give me all those warm fall vibes. I am so curious to know how you guys decorate. Go ahead and leave down in the comments if you are more of a traditional fall decorator or if you are more of a neutral fall decorator. Okay, so now that the bed is made, I am going to move on to the rest of the bedroom and I will start by putting everything away. Lately, I have just been setting things down and walking away from it and I really, really need to get out of that habit because I am normally a person that will just put things away as I go and I don't normally do this, but it's just been crazy the last few days here and um, I guess I just kind of got lazy and out of my routine. So once everything is put away, I'm just going to be using this Mrs. Myers um, cleaner and it is in the rose scent and I'm just going to use this to dust off my dresser and the two nightstands. So moving on into the master bathroom now, I'm just going to do the same thing in here, put everything away, and I will be cleaning the mirrors, the countertops, and wiping down the cabinets. I will also be cleaning the bathtub and the shower, and if you are new here, I am going to show you a awesome shower hack if you are looking for a way to quickly clean your glass shower doors. We don't know. So after I have everything put away, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So I will be starting with the mirrors in here and I'm going to be using this Windex. It is a lavender scented Windex. I will also be using the same Mrs. Myers Rose Cleaner on the countertops. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out.
Looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. We're on the run, this is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. So for the sinks in the bathtub, I wanted to use a cleaning product that did kill germs and this claims to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs and I am really not a huge fan of this. I believe it's like a generic version of Pine Sol and I feel like it's highly diluted and it just doesn't feel like it really cleans that well. But I ended up using the rest of this up here in the master bathroom. Okay, so now we're moving on to the shower and this is definitely one of my least favorite chores laundry comes second but I dread cleaning the showers and I think that it's because of the shower doors and just getting in there and really getting in the corners and doing the base of the shower cleaning everything in there is just so tedious and I feel like it just takes a really long time to do and um, I just don't enjoy it but I did come across this hack a while ago and what I do is I just use a toilet bowl cleaner to clean the shower doors and I I'm telling you, it takes next to nothing to do this. Hardly any elbow grease. What I do is I just apply it to the doors and the inside of the shower, and then I just use a regular sponge and basically wipe it away. I kind of scrub it in there with the abrasive side pretty well, but I, I'm telling you, I don't have to take much effort to do this. And then once I am done, I don't even have to let it sit very long. And then I just use... Um, the shower attachment and just rinse it all away and the shower doors turn out looking perfectly and I love this hack. I've been using this for about a year now and um, I have had several of you message me telling me that you guys have tried it and it works wonders so if you have not tried this I encourage you to try the toilet bowl cleaner.
and I'll be coming home. I plan to let you know the longing of my heart, the wish I carry high whenever we're apart. It takes me through the Now that the master bedroom and bathroom are all clean, I'm heading on over into the boys' bathroom and I just have some laundry that I need to take downstairs and putting a few things away. I will also be cleaning the mirrors and the countertops and I will be using the same Windex for the mirrors in here. And then for the countertops, I will be using a Method cleaner and it is a granite cleaner and it is in a apple orchard scent. See you play the music of your heart. I'm followed by your light whenever we're apart. It takes me through the night when I look deep into your eyes. Now that I have upstairs all nice and clean, I'm going to head on downstairs and the first thing that I'm going to do down here is just throw a load of laundry in the washer and today I will be using the regular Gain laundry detergent and then the softener that I will be using today is a downy softener and it is the romantic um, scent version and um, then I will be heading on into the kitchen. The kitchen is a mess. I have so much stuff left out on the countertops and um, again I will be putting everything away before I start cleaning but I do want to share with you this box that was sent to me and this was one of my subscribers that sent me this and she has a Scentsy account. I am so new to Scentsy so I don't know too much about it but this is the first of the, their products that I have tried. She sent me this beautiful catalog. I had no idea Scentsy had such a variety of products. If you are interested, I will go ahead and leave her information down in my description box. But I did get a, um, a few products that I really, really love so far. This one is for the bath. It's like bath salts. And then this right here is a dog shampoo. I haven't tried either one of those just yet, but I have tried this one and I will be using this today. And it is a scented room freshener and it has a very light fresh scent and I love it. So if you are interested, I'm going to go ahead and leave all of her information down in my description box. Now that I have the dishes put away and the dishwasher reloaded, I am going to be cleaning off my countertops in here and today I will be using the Love Home and Planet Multi-Purpose Cleaner and this is in the lavender scent.
the last thing that I'm going to do in the kitchen is clean out my sink and I will be using the soft scrub cleanser for that. I also like to add a little bit of dish soap and then I just take a sponge and scrub it clean and this gets rid of marks and stains. I also like to bleach my sink once a week and what I do is I just fill my sink up about an inch of water with about an inch of water and then I add about a cup of bleach and let it sit for about 35 40 minutes that also helps whiten up your sink if you have a porcelain sink and it gets rid of any germs and bacteria that are in your sink because sinks can get pretty gross you're gone now or you come me back yeah I know that yeah I know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah, I know before I head on into the family room I'm just gonna give this table a quick clean and for that I am using the method wood for good and this is in the almond scent so here in the family room I just basically have to straighten up so I'm just putting the blankets away and then straightening up the sofa in here and then I will be vacuuming sure if I ever really talked about this before but I do get anxiety very easily and I feel like once my house is all nice and clean it really helps me relax I know that there are several of you out there that are the same way and having a clean home is just so calming to me and I hope that this video brought you some cleaning motivation. I am so happy that my house is all nice and clean. It didn't take very long to do, but um, now that it is all clean, I am going to relax. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.
When time has passed, I owe you all Cause I could not bring myself to try And even now, when we are all staying